Previously on the bill. Urgent assistant needed. Jasmine Allen. But it was your wife's. She'd want you to have it. This mate of mine reckons that Ken's bent. He's as straight as a die. Don't trust me! Michael, before you go away, I wanted to say sorry. What for? For making you sleep on the sofa. Hey, you had a good night. There's nothing wrong with taking things slowly. I... I haven't had a proper relationship since my husband died. He raped me. I'm so sorry. Thank you. What for? For being nice, understanding. You shouldn't have to thank someone for respecting your wishes. We're saying that Mortis Security, or rather Alan Trent, were prepared to send in armed thugs to a meeting full of police officers and fire shots across their heads? We know he's got an application in to run security on that estate. What happened yesterday probably secured him the contract. Well, he sent out a message to the world and his wife that we're not capable of handling crime on the estate, even when it's happening under our noses. He's paved the way for himself. But this is all just speculation. Our intelligence backs up what Jack's saying. Our intelligence? As far as I'm aware, we've got nothing on Alan Trent apart from a few uncorroborated reports that he's instructing his staff to use strong arm tactics. Come. The yeah, forensics report for the Jasmine Allen shooting, sir. Thank you. Initial tests indicate that the guns used were converted replicas. They got no history behind them. So no leads? I'm not happy about sending my officers into two estates where guns are in circulation unless they're backed by SO19. I don't want uniform patrols on either of those estates. Forgive me, sir, but I don't think this is the right time to be backing off. We're not backing off. Then what are we doing? Is there something I should know? We've got a man on the inside. Since when? Look, I need details of all the vacant flats on the estate and I need keys to all the properties, yeah? Mate, I'm maintenance. I can't give you my list. Housing office will kill me. Look, I've got dealers moving in. Now, you're going to help me out here or not? All right, take them. But I want them back. Sure. Cheers. How did Ken manage to get undercover with Mortis Security so quickly? He was moonlighting for them, before all this kicked off. Is that why he was suspended? Well, you should have sacked him for that. Why sack him when we can turn it to our advantage? Mortis security is little more than a front for organised crime. But we need proof and we need it quick. Ken's our shortcut. Are we not a teeny bit concerned that he might be putting himself in real danger here? Well, he was the one who insisted on carrying on. He feels responsible about what happened yesterday. Why? He told Alan Trent about our meeting with the estate managers. Oh, lovely. Ken could never have anticipated what Alan Trent planned to do with that information. Oh, that's true enough. If Ken feels under any threat, he's been instructed to pull out immediately. Well, let's hope he finds something. Is it? What, wearing a two grand rock that belonged to your boyfriend's dead wife? Kathy, Owen is not my boyfriend. Hey, how are you feeling? Yeah, thank you. You look great, you know. You're so lucky. Have you any uh, morning sickness or anything? I'm not. Sorry. You lost the baby. Oh, I had no idea. You know, I only found out yesterday. She'd been keeping it all bottled up. Oh, Kathy. Is she going to No, to... no, don't do that. Just best if you don't mention it. Oh, is she going to be all right? Yeah, I'll look after her. Just don't say anything, yeah? Who's 
taking over Ken's caseload, Sarge. I've taken about four calls from already today. I don't know what to tell people. Hello? Look, do we even know how long he's been suspended for? Hey, look, ask the DCI. No one tells me anything anymore. You what? I was just going... Shut it! <sighs> What's that all about? It's secret conflabs. There's something going on. What's this for? Well, have you seen the papers? <laughs> Police screw up on yet another estate? I mean, the Met Miles will just pay for a front page spread advertising mortgage security services, eh? <laughs> I've no clue what you're talking about, Ken. <laughs> Come on, help me out here. I'm trying to congratulate you. You can at least accept a compliment. I mean, it's just a shame that they didn't whack the borough commander. <laughs> A few lives down the nick will pay good money to see her take a bullet, eh? Well, I just feel sorry for those poor people who have to live on the Jasmine Allen estate. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, what they need is real security, right? <laughs> <laughs> Using guns is a bit risky, though, isn't it? That's what business is all about, Ken. Taking risks. DPS on a meeting on the Cliff Holland case. Oh, they're not throwing it out, are they? Don't ask me, I just took the message. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Well, you can handle the meeting by yourself, can't you? Yeah? Yeah, you did a really good job yesterday. And I've got to go to Bow Magistrate this morning. Look, are you sure? Positive. Oh, I, uh, I meant to say I bumped into a colleague of yours. Who? D.S. McAllister. She speaks very highly of you. You're telling me what a decent, honest bloke you were. To be honest, Mr. Trent, I don't exactly go around the nick advertising the fact that I'm a bank copper. Where'd you meet her? Wake up, Ken. We do the security on her estate. She crashed into my car, didn't she? Oh. Must be frustrating. What? Working for someone that stupid. failing me, Ken. Can't remember asking you to come in. Oh, cheers for coming in, Dr. Preston. It's no problem. Anyway, we just want you to have a look at some photos, you know, see if you can identify the kids that broke into your flat. Do you want to follow me, mate? Yeah. Look, I'm telling you the truth, OK? Look, there's a bloke standing by a white transit van and he's shouting at me to come up here. You're too obliging for your own good. So what did he look like, this bloke? I don't know, he, he was dressed the same as me, he had dark hair, had a hat on. He looked like he was in charge. Stuart, you get him up here, would you? What is this place? Well, you're the detective, Ken. Why don't you tell me? You're converting guns, aren't you? <laughs> look at these hands. They look like they've never done any manual labour to you. I'm not converting anything. No, yeah, well, someone is. Because the guns that were used on Jasmine Allen yesterday, you made them, didn't you? You're working with amateurs, mate. It's not a big deal. Well, maybe I just don't want the rest of the relief knowing that we slept together, that's all. Why? You embarrassed? <laughs> don't be stupid. I only told Link, anyway. Well, maybe that bothers me more. I don't want to think that you're just using me to get back at him, do I? Get a Luke. Are you mad? I don't want anything to do with Luke. It's this one. Joe oh, Bill, Adam. this is a shop, right? And this is money. Now give me my fags. Why aren't you in school? Um, 
I'm 17. OK. Look, if you want to get yourself arrested with that attitude, you're going the right way about it. She is the one with the attitude. I get this every day. Scum off of the estate coming here and causing trouble. <laughs> Who are you calling scum? Look, you ain't getting your fags in here, so why don't the three of you come on, get out? Don't be an idiot. All right. That was all right until about five minutes ago. Yeah, well, I've got a van full of gear down there, so... Yeah, I know. And so does he, thanks to you. Have you, uh, ever seen him before in your life? So, uh, why do you ask him to help? He's got one of, um, one of the uniforms on. <laughs> Simple instruction, but still he managed to mess it up. It was just a simple mistake. One of my little bugbears. People not doing what they're told. Oh, please, please! Ah! I'm going to kill him! And... Get in the car, or are you just gonna stand there? I don't think he'll be driving anywhere today. Looks like you're gonna have to help me out. It wasn't a question, Ken, it was a statement. You will help. You want me to move the equipment? No. I've got a delivery coming in, I want you to do a pickup for me. What is it I'm collecting? <laughs> Look, I'm a copper. If I get pulled over, I need to know what's in the back of my van. Don't get pulled over? No, no, I'm not walking into anything. I, I, I don't know the full facts. Okay. Converted replicas. And you will do exactly what I tell you to do. All right. He's sleeping with her. Who? Smithy's sleeping with Kerry. Did you know? No, no, I didn't. Everyone has to move on. That includes you. <laughs> Easy. I have just announced to the entire Nick that I am gay and now I feel like this. Feel like what? I did love her, you know. You all right, mate? You know, if you want to take a breather, you can do. I think it's, uh... It's not that easy, is it? I know. It's not exactly rocket science, though, is it? Well, I mean, don't rush, you know, you've got all the time you want. No, I haven't. You see, sometimes you just fall for the wrong people, and no matter how painful it is, you have to let them go. Yeah, I'm not in love with Owen. That's what happened with me and Brandon. It just wasn't right. Yeah, well, that was a lot more complicated. I mean, you lost his child. He was stalking oh, you. Ch I don't want to talk about it, Paul. Sorry. You know, I do love Owen. I'm just not in love with him. Paul? Yeah, Hi. you might not be in love with him. How does he yeah. feel about you? What are you doing here? I've been looking at some photographs. I thought I might have found the blokes who burgled Dr Preston's property. If I'd have known, I could have given you a lift. Well, it's only around the corner, Polly. Well, at least let me drop you off home. Well, I don't need a lift, but I could do with a coffee. Have you got time? Yeah. This way. How does Polly know him? She lives with him, doesn't she? You're joking? Yeah, I know. And he's got a brain tumour. <laughs> you run a crappy little shop and that gives you the right to the house. You are going to be inside before you make your 16 You don't know anything. Okay, I'll take it from here. He walks in here and starts shouting his mouth off, trashing the place. He doesn't care. They don't have any respect. Respect? Respect for you, you are. Wait, watch your mouth. Right, she asked for it, she thinks she can talk We've to We've already had the police in here once. He wants me to sell him cigarettes. Yeah, well, you need to get yourself some nicotine patches. Oh, oh, easy. Yeah. All I want is a bit of respect from her. Yeah. And you. And you. Oh, no. Put it down. No!
Put the gun down. Sierra Oscar 1 from 158. Receiving. We have an incident involving a firearm on Denzel Street. Okay. We need to get these people out of the shop. No! Look what you're doing. Look. Looks like you got yourself into a little bit of a mess here, mate. Now, you don't want to make it worse than it already is. You come any nearer. Why, what are you going to do? Look, stop it, you're winding him up. Look, we can help you if you let these people out of here. And trust me, you'll be doing yourself a favour. Let him go. Come on. I don't want to endanger people's lives. Are the people safe to move to the door? Okay, everyone, go at the front door really slowly, right now. Go. See your Oscar in five. Luke. He's telling them. He's telling them about me. All of the Met are going to know about you already. On the ground, Jed. Get on the ground. Cameron, get out of the shop. Luke. You think you're tough, yeah? You think you're the big man? Cameron, just get out. Cameron, just get out. Oh, There's been another incident involving a handgun. A shooting? Not yet. What's happened? PC Tate and PC Ashton are being held at gunpoint in a shop on Denzel Street. That's on the Cole Lane estate, isn't yes, it? Yes, sir. Any information on the person who's armed? Not sure. The CAD operator thinks it sounds like a juvenile, OK? Paul, got an appointment with social services. Oh, you better go. Yeah, we'll see you out. Well, we could give you a lift home. Well, no, I'm not uh, going home just yet. Got people to see. Overdoing it. It's a difficult transition going from carer to being cared for. <laughs> I don't need to be cared for just yet. I know. I just want you to I'll know. see you in the car. Do you feel worse today? I've just been thinking too much, that's all. Look, if there's anything I can do. There is something. Yeah? Well, I've been writing to people. Uh, some friends, relatives, they still don't know. There's this cousin of mine, I can't find his address anywhere. Is there any way that you could track him down? Well, we could try the internet. Oh, I've done all that. Are there any searches you could run on the station computer? We're not meant to do that. You're not wearing your ring. Why did you do that? It's my job, isn't it? <sighs> Protecting the public. Yeah. Well, from now on, you do what I tell you to do. Oh, is that right? Then what if I don't? Where is everyone? I don't know. Do you see Drummond's phone? Yep. Hang on. I need to write this down. Mr. Peters. I'll get someone to call you straight back. What's the matter? Who is this? No idea. Some of the doing surveillance on, I guess. Empty, the surrounding houses have been evacuated, is that right? That's correct, Mum. Who's in there? I got all the customers out, but Luke and the gunman are still in there. Luke is in there? Something's not right, Mum. You're telling me. What, is he hurt? No, it's the opposite, I don't know. He doesn't seem to care. Doesn't seem to care about what? Shouldn't have left him in there. Do you mind telling me what's going on? Mum. He doesn't seem concerned for his own safety. talking about? What's going on? But just be patient and we'll find out in a minute. All I am saying is that Luke's behaviour seemed a little erratic, that's all. 
Erratic? What the hell are you talking about? I just think his personal problems are affecting the way he's conducting himself in there. That's all. Look, he tried to talk to me about... Oh, just keep it simple, boy. Are you saying to me that he's putting himself in danger on purpose? I want someone to tell me what's going on. Look, it's going to be fine. Kerry. What's happening? Uh, get back to the station, Kerry. You can't do any good here. No. Get her out of here! Come on. Come on. You're right! Look, Luke is in there because he's cut up about you and Smithy. Why? Oh, Kerry, come on. Wasn't that the whole point of this? You two should stop playing games with each other. I need to ask you something. Oh, yeah? I just looked up this man in BIU. He made an entry against his name recently. Yeah, Alan Trent. Well, I've heard him being referred to as Michael Ballantyne. No, it's definitely Alan Trent. He does the security down at the Coal Lane Estate. He's been accused of racial abuse and assault. He's being investigated. Well, he was. We didn't find anything. Is this a work thing? Nope. Uh, I was actually sent down to the Coal Lane myself to check him out. Frankly, the only thing that's criminal about him is he's flirting. I was only there for about ten minutes. He'd asked me out for dinner. And by the end of the day, he'd almost booked the weekend in Paris. <laughs> you right? Oh, dear. What's up with her? Well, it looks like she's got a professional and a personal life all mixed up. Again. You're a nutter. Yeah, and you're the genius with a master plan. Oi, right, come with me. Are you planning on shooting your way out of here? Because, uh, this place will be surrounded by now. Oh, and I don't want to burst your bubble or anything, but their guns are just a little bit bigger than yours. You think I'm messing, yeah? That I won't use this? Come on, then. You're testing me. Yeah, that's right. Who owns the shop? Mrs. Spencer. Come through. Cheers, tough. Does the flat belong to the shop? Yeah. Are you sure that no one's in there? It's just me and my daughter, and she's at school. Oh no, she's not! Shelly! Mrs. Spencer! Mrs. Spencer, come on! Shelly! Watch the kid, watch the kid! Pull the trigger. You think I'm missing? I dare you. Pull the trigger. Come on. You're a nutter! What do you want me to do? Shove the barrel in my mouth? Shut up! Hey? Shut up! Hey? Oh, come on. Come on, pull the trigger. Or do you want me to pull it myself, eh? Shut up! Oi, back off! Get away from me! I'll do it! You've been wrong, blood makes. I really don't care. Now, pull it! <laughs> pull it! Ah. Needs an ambulance. Ah. Are you hurt, Luke? Luke, can you hear me? Are you hurt? No, I'm all right. Boy, seriously injured. Still love him, don't you? Yeah, he's about 15 or 16. He's had his arm blown off. He's going to need emergency surgery. And the gun was confirmed as a converted replica. The same weapon that we used on the Jasmine Hill last night. You sure this is the place? Yeah. The officers got out all right? By some medical. He should be here by now. How many of these weapons are there in circulation? How the hell are children getting hold of them? Well, they're cheap. Nobody else wants to touch them with a barge pool. This has got to stop before someone actually dies. Why are you here? Ken. You all right? Yeah. What happened to you? I'm fine, girl, fine. Uh, the delivery's in an hour and a half. It's 
So what type are these guns? Converted replicas. So that takes us right back to Trent. Why did they want you to make the delivery? Because the other guy's probably in a coma by now. This is too dangerous. No, no, no. You, you can't let me get in close and then just pull me out. If Trent's converting guns, we can go in and arrest him right we now. We don't have any evidence. Look, the guns are coming in from Kent, and they're going to be dropped off at a lock-up in Haulage Way. Now, Trent's monitoring the situation closely. Chances are I'd be there for the delivery. Now, you raid the lock-up, you'll get him and the guns. That'll be a definite conviction. Are you confident about this? Yeah. Good. Hey, there you are. Thought you were off doing your district nurse routine. Oh, David Randall. Yeah, June asked me to look it up. Oh. What? He's killed someone. Oh, manslaughter. Yeah, drink driving. Who is this David Randall, anyway? It's Owen's cousin. I mean, he hasn't seen him for years. He's not going to know anything about this. Then you shouldn't be using this to do favours for your friends. You won't tell anyone, will you? No. And I suggest you don't tell Owen either. You've only got a few months to live. That's the sort of information you can live without. To be frank. The forensics report on the weapon used on the Jasmine Allen estate yesterday evening is consistent with a newly converted replica handgun. As most of you know, we've just had another near fatality involving a similar weapon on the Coal Lane estate. We've also just received information about a possible gun conversion factory operating out of the Coal Lane estate. Gov, can I ask where you got this intelligence from? We believe the factory links back to Alan Trent, the owner of Mortis Security. You've had Kelly undercover, haven't you? You've nicked my idea and now you've shut me out. Now the new consignment of guns is being delivered to a lay-by near Ashford and then transported here, which is the location of the raid. Sir, can I ask you where you got your intelligence from? Well, not from you, Hunter. So the chances are it should be worth something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sergeants. Make sure all your officers know exactly what they're doing on this raid. Thank you, everyone. Sir. Alright. Alright, give us some of these. Alright, let's. Hey, is all the stuff on that van part of the same delivery, yeah? Yeah. We're a uniform. They've assembled at Wingate Street. I've got four men posted on the ground keeping an eye out for Trent. Any word on the gun delivery? Ken will be here within the next 20 minutes. Everyone's saying that Luke rushed him, knocked the gun out of his hand just as he was about to shoot this girl. Well, I was there and there was nothing heroic about what he did. He was on a suicide mission. But he's all right, the winner. Yeah, he's fine. Oh, thank God. Yeah. They've gone down that way. We've lost the other van, they've gone the other way. I'm just about bruising this one. You were lucky. Yeah, I got everyone out alive, didn't I? And that was your intention. That was at the forefront of your mind while you were in that place. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Yeah, that was my intention. To get everyone out. Including yourself. The very fact that you've got to think about it really bothers me, Luke. to all units. White van approaching the lockup up Holy Drake. All units, go, go, go! All units, 
from DCI Meadows. Any sign of Alan Trent? DCI Meadows from DS Hunter. No sightings on the ground. No sign of Trent. Well, at least we got the guns. Is that the report? Yeah, there you go. Fantastic. Thanks, Steve. Michael, I'm going to keep on calling you until you pick up. I need to speak to you. This is urgent. Please call me back. Michael, I want to speak to you now. Do you know the address for Mortis Security? I'll get it myself. Why aren't you knacking your plates? You could have had your head blown off. Ah! Did you make me want to puke, you know that? If you hadn't grasped me up to the super, I wouldn't be in this mess. Ah! Now you ever go behind my back again and it'll hurt a lot more, you understand? All right, fella, I think you made your point. Get over there. You ever take your house off, pal? I'll you. You call me a muppet, I'll give you a lie. Oh, shut up, will ya? Yeah, well, some would say a criminal wearing something like that. Unfortunately, I don't think it's a chargeable offence. There was another van, Gov. Oh, yeah, what was that carrying? The ladies' range. You're not helping, Hunter. Yeah, well, if I'd be involved from the start... Oh! Listen, if you're going to have a go at me, then don't bother. For all I know, you could have saved my life today. So what happened in there? You had a lot of people very worried. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, you might not realise it, but a lot of people care about you. <laughs> like who? Like me. Like Kerry. <laughs> Kerry. Yeah. She was going out of her mind while you were in that shop. Considering the hell you've put her through, I think that says a lot. So if you want her, then you're going to have to tell her. What happened to him? We could get sent off on sick leave, get a roasting by Inspector Gold. I don't know why. I'm just curious, that's all. Kerry? Come here. Listen, I've got something to say, and I want you to be the first one to know. Come then. I'm leaving. I've been signed off for two weeks. I've applied for a transfer. When the going gets tough, Luke Ashton does a bunk. Oh, believe me, it'd be a lot easier to stay. Then stay. We've been set up. Jane Fitzwilliams is going to come down on us like a ton of bricks. I don't give a damn about Jane Fitzwilliams. A teenager's just, just blown his hand off. We could be facing an epidemic of gun crime here, and if it's anything to do with Alan Trent, which we believe it has... It's all circumstantial. We know he's dealing in guns. One of my officers almost died today. A teenager almost died today. I don't particularly care what the press have to say about our relationship with mortar security, and I don't particularly care what the borough commander has to say either. We started. Now I think we should finish. Turn over every one of his business premises. I would like to speak to Alan Trent, please. He's not here. Or can you tell me where I can find him? I am a police officer. Now, he rang me on this number. Is that one of your other offices? Hello? Do you speak? Juliet, I need you to get onto SO11. I need the address that's attached to this number. Yes. Do you still care about me? Of course I do. Then don't leave me. I don't care what other people say about us or what other people think about our relationship. We know it can work. I don't know that. Well, maybe not here, but somewhere else Kerry, we could go away. Kerry. Future's here. 
trust me. It'd be best for both of us. I'm never going to let anyone do this to me again. Can't get enough of this place, can you, Dr. Preston? Okay. Eh? Look, um, I hope you don't mind me saying... I heard about your illness, Dr. Preston, and I, I, I just wanted to say that... Well, I'm very sorry. Cheers, mate. Sorry, I'll keep you waiting. Oh, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you uh, find anything about David Randall's whereabouts? No, I'm afraid I didn't. Has he been released? You knew. Is he out yet? Your cousin's been very lucky. He only served 18 months of a three-year sentence. You think that's lucky? Well, you'd be up here if he was still inside. David Randall is not my cousin. Have you got that address? Yeah, but I have to make up some cock and bull story, Sarge. SO11, don't exactly just hand that information out, you know. Just give it to me. There. Thank you. What's it for, anyway? <laughs> I don't have to answer to you. I'm your sergeant. Sarge? Look, are you all right? Kathy Bradford was saying... <laughs> it's out of town! <laughs> Nice work, Ken. Yeah. You blew your cover and you didn't even have an inkling. The guns were in the other van. Any idea where the mystery van was going? So that's absolutely no use at all, then. Still, I should imagine the uh, super enjoyed his little excursion. I want to see you in my office for a debrief. On second thoughts, maybe you should choose a different venue next time. I don't think Nicole Lane was the super's cup of tea. Look, why don't you do something really useful and die? <laughs> Ken? Well, you've been suspended. No, he's the super's little helper. Oi! Ooh. Did you speak to Debbie? No, should I have done? I'm trying to get a hold of you. It was urgent. <sighs> Do you know what this is about? I've got a good idea, yeah. It's about him. I don't think it was police business either. Yeah, Trent said he talked to Debbie. Get the impression they've done a lot for Marvin Park. Oh, you cannot be serious. Dave's been trying to track him down. Haven't we all? Yep, but she found him. But Debbie has absolutely no involvement in any of the inquiries into Mortis or the Coal Lane estate. So why is she chasing Alan Trent? What's this all about? Trent mentioned to me this morning that he'd been talking to Debbie. From a conversation she had with Cathy Bradford this afternoon, we think that, um... Well, 
we think that they've been... Oh, for crying out loud. Don't tell me she's sleeping with him. Do you know where she's gone? And Juliet's got an address. Has anyone made contact with her? There's no response from her mobile, sir. We've got warrants for Trent's other businesses. We need to deploy officers to go and search them. Right, let's go. I'll come with you. Go. The other van, if it was collecting guns, well, there's, a, there's a very high chance that wherever Debbie's gone, the deliveries have gone as well. Yeah, well, let's hope for her sake she's been given some duff information. Come on. assaulting a police officer. Shut your mouth. Look, 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 it's a wind-up, John. Look, look, honest John, she's nothing. She's nothing. Give me your car keys. Give me your car keys and your phone. Give me your car keys and your phone! Right, you stay exactly where you are. You understand me? Mobile's not responding. According to this, the house is just up here on the left in about two miles. <laughs> Radio through to the uniform van. Sir. We're approaching the house in two miles now. Get a move on! <laughs> you follow me here. No, I don't know what is going on here. I don't need to know. You tell anyone else you're here. <laughs> How long have you been a cop with Debbie? Yes. Speak up. Ten years! How the hell did you make it so far? Well, marrying the boss must have helped. That how you made it to sergeant? You can't do this. Oh, yes, I can. I can do whatever I like. to anyone. No. You need to learn a lesson first. I made a mistake. Me? What is it with you coppers, eh? I've had Ken Drummond treating me like a fool thinking he was reeling me in. Or you think because some other moron issued you with a warrant card that gives you power and makes you smarter than me? Well, they say knowledge is power, don't they, Debbie, eh? Eh? Yeah. And you know absolutely nothing about me. And I know your whole life story. So yes, I can do what I like. Lie down. Lie down! <laughs> it's the same white van! Come on the back! You're right. I messed up. You did well. And you're safe. That's all that counts. I'm being so stupid. Oh, we're living there, don't we? Not me, go for it. I repeat the same mistakes over and over and over. Who did David Randall kill? My wife. I'm so sorry. I never got to say goodbye to her. 
I want David Rundle to look me in the eye and say sorry. You know, I can't give you his address. I, I don't want to hurt him. I, I couldn't even if I tried, but I need to f know he feels some remorse. I don't want to die thinking her life meant nothing to the person who took it. I need to talk to him. It's good to catch him red-handed, sir. Yeah, the look on Trent's face made it all worthwhile. Blink. We've recovered over 30 crates of replicas from the farmhouse. Well, I think there's more. Let's get SM-19 down on the coal lane. I want every single one of those guns found before somebody else blows their hand off. And more security? Now well, they're finished. Now the Trent's behind bars, nobody's going to do his dirty work. So let's not be back where we started. Police patrols on the coal lane. Should make the borough commander smile, sir. At last. I'm a Dr. Pulley. I know what lies ahead of me. I, oh, I've worked with people who are dying, and I know... I don't want to go through that process. You're just having a bad day. No. Really, Polly, I feel good about this. Good about what, Owen? My choice to die. I'm not listening to this. I will not end my life when I feel ready, and I feel ready now, and I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah, well, what about our friendship? I mean, does that mean nothing to you? Of course it does. That's why I want to remember you as a friend, rather than someone who, who cared for me in my dying days when I, I couldn't walk or eat without someone looking after me. Yeah, but I will always be your friend. I will not be the person I am now for much longer. But I'll still want to be with you. I'll still love you. If you really love me, Polly, you'll support my decision. But oh, please, help me. Next time on The Bill. What's up? Over there now, get everyone down. We have eyeball on the bus, repeat. You want a hair off? I'll show you a hair off. Let's... Oh, wait! Come on, hey, hey.